So how to create a portfolio on Hostinger, okay? So just uh, walk you exactly through the process, very simple. So if you want to create a portfolio on Hostinger using the website builder, you can uh, just, uh, of course, uh, click on here, manage uh, my websites. And of course, you can click on here, add website. And then from here, you can select Hostinger website builder. So just click on here and you can start from uh, scratch. You can start building a website using the, you can use AI if you want to. Let's say you can write here. I want to use this uh, website for my portfolio. My portfolio includes uh, things about my photography. I like to take uh, photos of things when I travel. So I need a website. Do something like that. That's one way. Make sure you add your brand here. And then you add your site type. I'll select your portfolio as well. Now you can also use a pre-made template. Now you can click on generate, but I'll also show you how you can use the pre-made templates. Just click on here on the search bar, right or okay. I misspelled there, but Uh, we can also click on here and then you just look for a template that you that you like. Uh, I like, uh, I'll select this one, select template. You can also preview the template. And now we just wait a couple of seconds and now we can add here. We have uh, our, our pages and navigation here. So here we have this section. Now I'm gonna remove this image, this image. You here you can add something what you want, maybe your address here, and then here what I would add for a portfolio. Here I would add the select this section, I'll click on delete here, select this section, delete, delete, delete. Uh, impressed, I do need this contact, so we do need this contact, but now here in between, you can click on and add a section, right? And now from here, what we also need an about, right? For a portfolio, you will actually need uh, you do need also this uh, one, which is the uh, the main, maybe. But first of all, even if I delete this, we can add an about. And then we need contact. And also we need a portfolio, which we can select uh, from here. Where is it? Portfolio. Should be some projects here. So projects, portfolio, this can also work. So here now you can add here your projects. You can move this up and down as you like so you can have this portfolio here and then here the story probably you should have this first and then the and then the portfolio so here now you can add the uh, just customize this the way you wish now here we have the header but we can also add a promotional here uh title but that's not what we want uh, here for the edit header, you can add a logo, stylize this, change the header background, and also the show the logo. If you don't show the logo, show so social social icons, show button if you want to add a button here, and then of course here you have your pages, uh, your navigation bar here. So you have the elements here, the logo, the style, you can stylize the buttons, the logo. So we can try now different kind of uh, layout from here. And here you can add, um, maybe you want to add a map, uh, Instagram feed. You can also do uh, that from here. Also contact form. You can add, but also you can use add a section. You can use a section from here. But if you want, you can drag some of the elements from there. Now here we is this work. This is uh, so we have work here, but that's about. But that's sorry work. And um, if you want, you can also create add a new page from here and create a a page dedicated only for portfolios if you want uh, that's something you could do here you have projects but those are hidden from uh, navigation you can click on the three dots here 
and uh, show navigation and uh, maybe for each page you can add um, different only one page for entire your, for your all your projects for all your work and then here you can add your projects uh, you can see edit image uh, and here image you can add a video or so here image sorry not the uh, this is just for image we have this element right image but you can add the video if you want where you have a video maybe a link or some depends on what you're doing maybe if something with the video you do have the you do you can use a video if not you can add an image from here something that you want from from your project from your portfolio and then here you can add another section maybe with another services or still projects or resume but i guess projects or and changing the design you can also of course you don't have to use the section you can just start from scratch just add a blank section and then you just drag the elements that you need to present your portfolio okay so i hope you found this uh, video helpful uh, that's uh, pretty much it now if you want to add a store you can click on here add a store and click on the three dots uh, here and uh, from here you have a multi-language if you're interested to add this to your website to your portfolio to your website and then you have blog click on blog and you can add a blog if you want to your website from here i thought of mentioning this story just to move the camera a little bit to this side so you can see here that you have a blog you can start to you can add a blog from here you have analysis here seo settings which is really, it is important of course to take care of the uh, the seo settings and when you created the 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 website with the website builder as you can see we have this template right but maybe you don't want clients here of course you're going to take your time and customize this if you want to change the the background here so we have this section of course and here we have the color so we can change the color from here and also we have website style so the colors for we can change select and then uh, change you have colors fonts buttons animations and uh, here you can change the fonts but for each section uh, and even for the footer you can click on add a section from here and here you have color or image or video you, you can add to your footer or to your header but the brand kind of identity here is this black but you can click change the color so it matches your brand identity and uh, yeah if you want to add a sticker bar you can do it from here but overall that's it if you have more questions leave your questions down below thanks for watching and take care